Look, we from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look, why? Cause we gon' make them pay. We from Let's get to our next Friday game. We got Stanford coming off a loss going into Arizona to take on the team that popped us all in Pac-12 left the dark, Arizona wow. State. But that's what this time. Stanford won? They beat Oregon. Yeah, Stanford I'm, won. I'm tripping. I'm tri I don't know why I'm thinking, of, Oregon. I'm, I'm thinking of last yeah. week. I'm thinking, Let me just yeah, I'm thinking of I'm I'm thinking two CLA. weeks ago. I am sorry. Yeah, I am sorry. All right, Stanford, Arizona State. This line opened up in, in favor of Arizona State minus twelve. The line now is at minus thirteen. The total is the same at fifty-one and a half. Stanford three and two on the year, three and two against the spread, coming off an upset victory over top five Oregon, uh, which Oregon didn't have the OC and Anthony Brown is banged up, but we'll say that for a later conversation. They're going on to take again, taking on the Arizona State Sun Devils with my man, Mr. Hello. We play to win the game. Arizona State's four and one on the year, taking, and they are two and three against the spread. Get to these injury reports real quick. The only loss Arizona State got is our guys that we're going to be capping later, and that's BYU. We gonna, I'm pretty sure us, we gonna, we're giving you a spoiler. We're going to ride that gravy train. So I am looking at this injury report, and I am starting to see why there's such a big favorite. Bonner, the quarterback, he is questionable for this game. He's with undisclosed. Uh, the wide receiver, uh, Tremaine, he is out for this game Friday with the leg injury. Wilson, the wide receiver, is out indefinitely. They have a guard, Bragg, he's questionable. Another corner, Manley, he is questionable as well. Oh, wow. McGill, McGill is out indefinitely. He is the, the safety. Turner, Muhammad, he is out indefinitely as well. And a, uh, Smith, I, I'm wondering if that's Emmett Smith Jr. He is downgraded to out as well uh, for this game. And it's a short week coming off a tough game, tough mm -hmm. emotional game, but we'll get to that. Arizona State. They went and upset UCLA. I don't know if you can call it. Well, I don't know if you can call it upset because yeah, that was a awesome. president's day. But they it feels he is questionable for this game. The DB uh, more linebacker. He's out for the season. Johnson defensive line. Um, he is questionable for this game. Undisclosed. Banks questionable. Undisclosed. And Ray the tight end. He's questionable as well. Wide receiver Wilson. He did miss last game, so he's questionable as well. For the Sun Devils. Let's get to these actual factual. Stanford, they're six and two against the spread in the last eight games. They're seven and two straight up in the last nine games. They're six and one straight up in the last seven games when playing against Arizona State. Uh, they are five and zero oh against the spread in the last five games on the road. Six and one straight up in the last seven games when playing against a Pac-12 opponent. And they are 14 and five straight up in the last 19 games played in the month of October. Arizona State, the Sun Devils, they're 6-1 straight up in the last seven games. The unders is 6 out of the last seven. They're 6-1 straight up in the last seven games at home. The unders also hit five out of the last six when playing at home against Stanford. 4-1 straight up in the last five games of the season. And 5-1 and against the spread in the last six games when playing against an opponent from the Pac-12. Uh, flat top, since I let Marley go back to back, I'm going to let you take this one. Arizona State taking on Stanford, two black coaches. Friday night prime, Pac-12 at the dark. What you got? Uh, for this one, I think the story is going to be injuries. I mean, props to Stanford uh, for their upset over Oregon. But I watched that game, and uh, those boys from Oregon were hitting. So QB went out. The starting receiver went out. They got a whole laundry list of players that are going to be out. Um, I think the first half is going to be my play for Arizona State at minus probably seven. Um, just they got a lot of injuries. Um, both these teams are coming off wins. I just think um, you just – there's a chance for that upset after such a big win last week. And um, even though Stanford's been pretty good against Arizona State, I don't think this is the, the year that they do the upset. And there's a reason why they have this game as a double-digit um, – in favor of Arizona State. So I don't feel comfortable with the full game, 
at double digits, but I think first half they should be leading by a touchdown if they're playing the ball that they played against UCA, UCLA last week for Arizona State. So that's my official play, Arizona State, whatever their first half spread is. So it should be at seven. Let me see real quick. Um, let me get that for you so that the people know that this man took it at this line. So right now, as a consensus, it's at six and a half. So basically a touchdown victory. So you you still riding? Still riding. All right. Marty, how you feel about this one? Yeah, I was um, definitely going to take Stanford at the 10 that it opened at. Um, but those injuries scare the hell out of me. Um, you went off on a whole list of guys defensively and offensively. Um, but the quarterback, McKee, he's been playing lights out. Uh, 1,993 yards, 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions, QBR is 80. I do not like betting against that. But I don't know what he has left. My thing is, is Arizona State due for a letdown after a big win last week in UCLA? Coming home, everybody's patting you on your back. You're the man at the parties. Quarterback getting all the girls, X, Y, Z, banging everybody. Are they focused? Then you got Herm Edwards. Is he going to have them ready? Is your boy we play to win the game going to have them ready to play to win the game? I'm going to follow you, Flat Top. I like the minus six and a half. I really want Oregon minus, I mean, plus the point. Those injuries that Coach just rattled off changed my mind. I do like the first half less than a touchdown because Arizona State is a fast team. They can put up points in a hurry. I'm going to go with the first half and take the six and a half. I'm going to ride with flat top. All right. Yeah, I was going to work go with my boy Shaw um, with Stanford with the points, but I just this line just kept going up, up, and up more, which makes me a little nervous. But they have been dealing with injuries and, and, and people stepping up next man up all season long. And Shaw, I mean, he's a great coach. He doesn't get enough credit that he should. Uh, you know, from taking over that program from Harbaugh, who who pretty much put him in the right position, he has been keeping them going. He's just a couple of recruits away from getting back to that status. But Shaw's a hell of a coach, man, and a good guy. But it does make me nervous with all those questionable injuries coming on a, on a short week. Um, at the big emotional upset victory. So everything here does say Arizona State, but if I were to make a lean, I think Stanford, the way they play the ball in the system, I would back them up with these points. Um, but I'm going to stay away from this one. So, hey, people, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, comment, talk that shit. You know, congratulate if we gave you some money. You know what I'm saying? And you know you can always tip your boys. We ain't asking for it. We ain't one of those other pots that we give us the tips. Now, nah, we trying to let everybody make money. So, we thank y'all for tuning in on the late light, and we will cut these up. Now Don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why? Cause we gon' make them pay. We from